We have talked on part 17 about arrays. And arrays are used to group a set of related objects. We could create a set of any data type and we could access the elements using indexes. Collections are similar to arrays, but collections provide a more flexible way of working with a group of objects. For example, in arrays you would have noticed that you need to define the number of elements in an array when the array was declared. But in a collection, you don't need to define the size of the collection beforehand. You can add elements or even remove them from the collection at any point of time. Every collection class implements the iEnumerable interface, so values from the collection can be accessed using a for each loop. In C Sharp, we have two types of collections. We have generic collections and non-generic collections. A generic collection is a collection which has items of similar type. So for example, list. Or in real world, it would be a bookstore, which has only books. But a supermarket which has items of different types would be an example of non-generic collections. On the next five parts, we are going to talk about different non-generic collection types. We are going to start with array lists, which are used to store objects of any type, like an array, and then next we are going to learn about sorted lists, which are used to store key and value pairs. Then next we are going to talk about stacks, which are used to store the values in a LIFO style, so last in, first out. Then next we are going to talk about queues, which are used to store values in FIFO style, so first in, first out. And the last one is going to be hash table, which stores key and value pairs.